everyone, it's Melissa from Windy City BCI. Today I'm going to show you how I make a bottle cap image using Adobe Illustrator CS6. Let's go ahead and get started. Click on File, New. You're going to set up your document or your artboard. And I just make mine 6 inches by 4 inches. If the unit of measurement isn't in inches, you can just come over here click on units and then click inches. Um, RGB for the color mode, 300 PPI, and then click OK. And the first thing that I do is click on view, show grid. I like to have that up so that I know that everything is centered and um, all of my little circles are all aligned. And then the next helpful thing in the view area is smart guides. I always keep this on. It helps me know when an image is centered in the center of the circle. And I'll show you what that does in a minute. All right. So the first thing that I do is I click on, let me go back over. I don't know why I just went over. I click on my shape section, hold down, and then a box will appear. And then I click on ellipse tool. The easiest way for me to do it is I just click on a spot on the artboard and then a box will appear. And my bottle cap images are always 1.015 by 1.015. That gives them just enough wiggle room so that there isn't a white line around the edge of the image. All right, so now that I have my circle, I'm going to get rid of the ellipse tool and click on selection tool, which is the black arrow. And then I don't like the black ring around my images. So I come over here. This is your fill color. This is your line color. And I'm going to click on none. And that got rid of the black line going around my circle. Next, I like to add in digital paper for the background. I'll show you how to do that. In Adobe Illustrator, there's this awesome button called Draw Inside. It looks like a circle with a piece of paper inside it. So I'm going to click on that. And when I click on it, a dashed box appears around my circle. And then once that appears, you click File, Place, and I'm going to locate my digital backgrounds. And I'm going to click on pink and blue. Find the paper that I want. And there it is. So my paper is really big because most of my digital paper is 12 by 12. So I need to shrink it down a little bit so that I can see it better. I'm just going to zoom out to 100%. There we go. So if you can see this, I have little white boxes over here and they're also in the corners, which is still off of my page. I'm just going to hover over one of the white boxes, hold down shift, left click and hold it down and drag. And it makes it smaller. All right. So now it's all the way over here. I need to click on it again and move it over here. All right, now let's zoom back in. And there we go. I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. All right, that looks good. So now I'm going to click off of it. And I still have that dashed box going around my circle. That means I'm still on Draw Inside. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. So all you have to do is click on Draw Normal. And now it's gone. The next thing that I'm going to do is add a digital frame. So I'm going to click File, Place, and I need to locate my digital frames real quick. And I have a yellow and blue one that I want to use. There we go. Okay, and again, it's too big for my image, so I'm going to hover over a white box. Hold down shift, left click and drag. Make it a little bit bigger. Let's test that out and see. 
So as I said at the very beginning about the, sh the show guides, do you see the little green X in the center of my blue box and how it says center when I get it right on top? Like that. That's what the show guides do. They are awesome and make sure they help you make sure that everything is centered. All right. So now I have my digital frame in there. Next, I'm going to place a piece of clip art. So I'm going to click File, Place. I'm going to find my clip art. And I'm going to go to Owls. PNG files, and I'm going to use this owl image. All right, and again, it's too big, so I hover over a white box, hold down shift, and drag. And there it is. I'm going to move them back over inside my image. That's still a little bit too big. Let's make them a little smaller. And that's off center, so I'm going to move it over here. Move them down a little bit. And there you go. That's how I make a bottle cap image. Let's pretend our whole page is full of the bottle cap images and we want to save it um, so that we can send it to somebody. What you have to do is you have to click File. Instead of doing Save As, you have to export it. So you click on Export, change it to a JPEG file, and then Owls. Oh, and I don't want to save it here. Let's save it in. I'll save it here. And then you click on Use Artboards and hit Save. And double check everything, RGB, 300 PPI, and we're good to go. Then you just click OK. And then it saves your image as a JPEG and you'll be able to send it to somebody and they can have it printed. And that is how I make a bottle cap image using Adobe Illustrator CS6. Have a great day.